If you've been coding in Python for quite a while now, you might have realized that list comprehensions can be quite fast compared to lists. But why is that? And in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and cover the speed optimization when you use a list comprehension versus when you are just creating a normal list. So to demonstrate this, I went ahead and created two functions. One is a list comprehension list and one is a normal list. And I added a limit argument, which allows us to pass in how many times we want to loop through the loop. For example, here I have a range with the limit, which is an integer. So if we want to loop through this a thousand times, we just have to add 1000 and it's going to be the same for both of them. And as you can see inside the normal list, we had to create the number array. Then we had to loop through everything inside it. While with the list comprehension, we were able to do that all in one single line. And I decided to add some further details such as if the number is even, we're going to add it to the list, otherwise we're going to ignore it. So essentially this is just adding even numbers to a list. Now to time it, I went ahead and used the time it module and I repeated this test 10 times for each function timing it and I ran each function 10,000 times. And out of all of these trials, we went ahead and got the minimum time. So what was the fastest time for each one of these functions for the normal list and for the comprehensions list. And then I went ahead and printed out the times. And also something that was very important is to check whether the lists are returning the same output because we want to make sure we're actually doing the same computation. So I went ahead and checked whether this was true or not. And finally, I went ahead and calculated how much faster the comprehension list was in comparison to the normal list. So if we go ahead and run this program in Python 3.10, we're going to have to wait a couple seconds because it has to run all of those tests. And as soon as it's done, it will show us that a normal list took 0.43 seconds while the list comprehension took 0.378 to loop 1000 times through the list. And we only went ahead and appended the even numbers. But as you could see, it is around 12% faster. And this can vary between 8% and 20%. It really matters a lot on what kind of computations you are doing. But you might have already noticed in the comment up above the main reason for the speed optimization with list comprehensions. And that is the fact that we do not need to call dot append each time we're adding a number to the list. And it just makes it a lot faster because we do not need to call this function each single time. As you may know, making a function call is a very expensive operation or maybe not very expensive depending on what you want to do, but it's quite expensive when you're looking to optimize your code. So that is one of the biggest reasons why list comprehensions are faster. We do not need to call dot append each time. And let's go ahead and run this code one more time. So again, it's going to take maybe five seconds because it has to do this test 10 times and it's calling it 10,000 times each. And this time we got 11.4% faster. And this can really vary depending on which Python version you are using. In Python 3.11, I found the optimization not to be as fast as in previous versions. And this has to do with Python having better performance in Python 3.11. So when you look here, you're going to notice that when we run the tests, both of these are going to perform much faster and the difference between them is not going to be as great as when we compared it in Python 3.10. And we can just scoot this to the side so you can see. Here we have a normal list that took 0.33 seconds and here it took 0.42, while the list comprehension took 0.30 and the other list comprehension here in Python 3.10 took 0.38. So it was quite faster in Python 3.11 and that's just something they did with Python in general. So the optimization is not as great in Python 3.11, but in Python 3.10 and previous versions, you should see a major increase in speed. And again, that's anywhere in between 10 to 20% and it might even be more or less depending on what kind of program you're running and what kind of computations you are trying to do. But with all this optimization information, always keep into account that there's not much in code that can beat legibility, unless it is crucial that you get that extra 10% speed or extra 20% speed. I do prefer to do the for loop approach because it's just a lot more legible depending on what you're doing. And again, this doesn't mean you should ignore list comprehensions completely, but my recommendation is that you don't try to exaggerate with list comprehensions because they can become easily illegible. And if you can't read your code or other people can't read your code, that can take a lot more time 
then the optimization is actually saving you. So it's just something else to keep into account. I think lines like this is fine. It's very easy to read and it's very short. It's a one liner. It really simplifies our functions. But if you have something extremely complicated, I personally would not avoid this approach for that extra 10% of speed optimization. But at the end of the day, the choice is up to you guys, of course. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your opinion. And yeah, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.